to text how to update the data in php my admin database through a simple html form what i'm going to do is i have created these two text boxes and i'm going to update the data in this php my admin i have created a database named test and inside the test database i have created a project table and inside the project table i have created a three columns named id first name and last name what i'm going to do now is to update the data inside the first name and the last name through this simple html form means whatever data i am going to provide in this two text box it's going to be updated in this two columns of the project table okay so let's begin with the tutorial first of all we will see how to create these two text boxes and a submit button in html so here's here is the code for this what I have done is I have created a simple HTML for HTML tag and I have closed it over here then the another body tag and I have closed it over here then inside this the main part is first name I have created a text box input type equals to text simply to create a text box you need to write this code yeah and remember one thing the name whatever value you provide in the name is unique for each text box for Suppose for this first text box I have mentioned name equals to first name because I am creating this text box for the first name and the another one for the last name that's why I have mentioned the value for the name attribute as L name you can see over here. So be specific about each text box whatever you create and this your third line of code is input type equals submit name equals update I have created this to create display a button on the HTML on the web browser as you can see over here here is the button so and I have simply closed the form tag and form method is post remember this so hope you understood how this HTML code works now let's see the second part of how actually we make a connection to the database and update the data in the databases in PHP my admin so for that the code is simply this what I have done is I have simply opened the PHP tag and at the end I have closed it what I have done is if is set as you can see if is set dollar underscore post update means the button I have created when the user clicks on the button for which I have mentioned the value of name attribute as update that's why it's over here if dollar underscore post update when the user create clicks on the button the following condition which I will mention inside the if will be executed so let's understand what I have written over here I have created one variable dollar host name equals localhost I have mentioned over here as localhost because I am running this sort of code on my local machine and not on a watch on not and not on a server on the internet as I am running it on my personal standalone PC that's on the local host that's why I have mentioned it over here as local host the next variable I have created is dollar username you can mention any variable name okay so for the username I have mentioned root as you can see root because the username of my PHP MR admin is root and the password I have mentioned is empty because there is no password for my PHP my admin and a database remember this I have created the another variable for database and I have mentioned over here as a test your test is the name of the database which I am going to use in this tutorial as you can see in the PHP my admin I am using the test database okay that's why the database name equals test then what I am going to do is I am creating another variable dollar underscore connect and using the PHP function mysql underscore connect this is a by default function provided in the PHP inside the mysql underscore connect function I am whatever variable I created previously that is the host name username password and database name I am gonna incorporating it serial wise inside this function passing it as a parameter as you can see I am first mentioned host name then username password and database name then what I am gonna do is whatever values the user supplies in the two text boxes that is the first name and the last name I am collecting it in two variables that is here dollar $f name and dollar $l name means whatever values the user has supplied in the previous text boxes will be collected in these two variables then I am writing a query over here as update 
project your project is the name of the yeah your project is the name of the table inside the test database as you can see here's the database name test inside that i have created a project that's the name of my table yeah update project set f name equals your yeah, f name is the name of the column in in the table equals dollar f name this dollar f name refers to this one this dollar f name then l name this is the name of the column in the table equals dollar l name this l name refers to this l name where project dot id equals one i am simply updating the data where the id equals to one as i am having only one row in my table that's why i have clearly mentioned where project dot id equals one okay then i have mentioned created a new variable dollar result equals my and my sql underscore query and i have passed two variables as a parameter that is the first is the connection variable and the another is a query variable which contains the query results then i have mentioned if dollar result means if the query is being executed it will display data updated or else it will display as data not updated clearly and then finally you need to close the connection which you have created to the database and just save the document as dot p with the extension dot php as you can see over here and remember you need to save the document inside the stdocs folder if you are using xam okay now let's execute it as you can see i have inside the test database the project table contains the three columns which contains the data as raj1 and kadam2 so let's refresh it yeah now i'm going to pass another data just click submit you are showing data updated now let's have a look again yeah the data is being updated yeah it's siddesh now let's again have a look as i'm now supplying raj1 and simply kadam again data updated yes rajwan and kadam yeah so thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you very much yeah that's all thanks a lot